Good morning, Rose Red Homestead, and today we're going to do something entirely different, something that I have never done before. We are going to can, pressure can, some roasted red peppers. These are just red bell peppers. And this will go directly to food security and emergency preparedness. I have been looking for good recipes that I can make videos on, and a couple of them have said to open a jar of roasted red peppers. And so I did a little research and found a great recipe on healthy canning. I will put the link below this video so you will have access to the very same recipe. And these are the peppers that we're going to do today. I have prepared eight large red peppers. Well, here is the eighth one because I'm going to show you how I cut it up. And I have learned a few things about this. You know, sometimes you don't learn what you need to know until after you've done it at least once. And that was certainly the case with these red bell peppers. So the procedure is going to be that these are going to go in the oven, a 400 oven, for about 20, maybe 30 minutes to blister the skins. And then, um, because just like when we do hot chilies, like the hatch green chilies, we need to pull those skins off. Now, some of you are probably much more experienced at doing that than I am. My daughter does that for us in our family, and I have never done it. So I'm just following this recipe. This is a tested recipe. And we're going to can these in the uh, one cup jars, the half pint jars, and we will be processing them for 35 minutes. So I'm going to show you what kind of peppers to shop for if you decide to do something like this. Now, um, Jim is a great shopper and neither one of us knew uh, what to expect when we did this. But what you need to look for is four chambers on the bottom so you can cut this exactly in half and then in quarters and then as straight and smooth a structure as possible. For instance, look at this one. I'm a little bit dreading having to pull the skin off of that one because it is a little bit gnarly and a couple others are as well. So you want to get them as smooth as possible. There are a lot of ways to cut up a pepper. The way that I do it is I start from the bottom and because I'm going to quarter these I just pick two and go between right down the middle and then that leaves this, um, this seed piece right at the top and I reach in and just break it off. Then you'll see that there's white membrane here and here and here. So when I cut this, I will choose to go on one side or the other side of that white membrane because I want to leave one side completely clean of that membrane and then the other side with the membrane complete, and this is pithy stuff, I want off. And so I will just slip my knife right in there and this is a very sharp paring knife and then this one is now ready to go so I'm putting it here I'm just going to clean a little pith off of this and it's ready to go and then on this one I just break out that seed thing at the top again cut on one side or the other side of that white pith in the middle and then I'm wanting to cut down to the red and get rid of all of the seeds. And sometimes this tip end needs to come off, which it did there. So no seeds, this one is ready to go. And cutting the pith off of this one. And this one. Now the noise that you hear in the background may be our furnace or the oven going. I'm heating it to 400 degrees. The tested recipe says to um, peel these any way you want to. And so I did a little bit more research and one person that I looked at uh, sprayed the tops of hers with oil. She said that it um, 
that it helps the skin's release. So we're going to try it. I'm game for anything. So these are going to go in the oven and uh, cook until the skins are loose and I can peel them. And when I first take them out of the oven, I'm going to stick them in a plastic bag and let them steam for just a little bit. That will also help the skins. So we'll come back when I'm struggling with the skins. So I thought we would bring you back and give you a little update. I just took these out of the oven, as you can see on this parchment paper. Uh, they got a little brown on the edge, and here they are. They're in the plastic now, cooling a little bit. So I will have to be cutting off the burn spots there. So I'll need to watch that more closely next time. So bring you back when we're in the middle of peeling. So it has been a little bit tedious, but I have learned a lot, and I'll share that with you. We're down to our eight pieces. Um, these didn't really get to the point where the skins were slipping at all. And so I put them back under the broiler and broiled them for two or three minutes. And when it says the skin needs to wrinkle, it really needs to not just wrinkle, but it needs to blister and bubble. And so that's what is making the difference. So I'm going to peel these last few. Also, the rounded edges are uh, what often gets neglected. Um, in the heating aspect, and so sometimes that's a little bit difficult, but when these blister, they pull right off. So I think next time what I would do is put some of them, put them in the oven for at 400. Now I'm cutting off the scorched edges here. Let them go under at 400 for 10 or 15 minutes, and then for the last few minutes, I would put them in under the broiler. So that's what I have learned this time. So I'm just dropping these in these half pint jars. All right, we're going to fill this with boiling water, each jar. We'll leave an inch head space, but there are plenty of air pockets down in there, so I'm overfilling a little bit. That one's about right. That one's going to need just a little bit more. Liz. Finger tight. So let's get these in the canner. We have five jars. I've got two quarts of water in here, as per the instructions. They're very pretty. I hope they turn out pretty. I've checked everything to be sure it's OK. And we will hit high. Then for 35 minutes, and start. So that's all there is to it, I say, after I spent an hour peeling those peppers. So there are some things that are worth doing once so that you can see how they do, and then you can decide whether or not you're going to continue doing those. This batch of red peppers may be just exactly that, but we'll see. We'll see how fast we go through them, and I haven't even priced them in the stores so I'll do some more research on that. But I wanted to have the experience. Just like five years ago, I wanted to have the experience of butchering chickens for the first time and um, did it. And it worked out great. And once was enough. 
So we'll see how this works out. Oh, I've got to put this up so the steam can escape for its uh, 10 minutes. We'll let this run through its usual uh, process. And it does have a um, venting 10 minutes that counts down. And then I lower this to trap the steam inside, and then it will process for 35 minutes. So we will be back after the natural cool down, and these are ready to come out of the canner. So see you then. All right, here we go. Canner's been off for just a very few minutes. Let's go ahead and open it up. And Oh, look at that. How fun. Wow, they sure did shrink in size during the canning. So there we are, five bottles. Five jars of roasted red bell peppers. So they look beautiful. I'm anxious to try them. They go especially good with scrambled eggs. And so we will be using these. And uh, you'll probably see more of these in some upcoming videos and recipes that I'm going to be using that call for these. So I think this is a su success. Now that I've had a couple of hours to think about it, maybe the peeling wasn't so bad. Um, but we'll see how they taste. And um, so this was pretty much a success. So eight large red bell peppers in five half pint jars. So I'm very satisfied with these. I think they're very pretty. And we'll just let these pop away and sit out here in the afternoon and uh, move them onto our food storage shelf. So success. And thank you for being with us. And we will see you at our next video.